make my mind drift back, even though I wasn't here, I had to wonder what was going on about 45 years ago. Because even though our school is 40 years old, you know it didn't just happen. It didn't just start in 1979, right? There was a, there was, there was a stirring in people's heart to get a Christian school going here. So you make, you make yourself wonder what happened. That many goes 40 plus years ago. When the Lord put it in several people's hearts, like, we, we, we need a Christian school here. And I wonder what those very people who were just moved by the Spirit to start praying for the possibility of a school, what they would think now about a, a room absolutely full of high school students praising God in worship on a day like today. I think they would think that's pretty cool. So give them and yourself a warm round of applause. And then we'll be back. I'm going to stay outside, so I'm going to move quickly. I'm going to talk to you about a, a, a topic we've been hearing a lot about lately. Protect the learning. I'm just kidding. I'm not talking to you about that today. <laughs> at all. In some ways I am though. In some ways I definitely am. Alright, so I am going to talk about a word you haven't heard about a lot. The word is excellence. Yeah, no, another great one that you were hearing all the time. But we're, not, but we're going to talk today about why we're talking about that word so much and why it actually does matter. So when I think, ask you now what you think of when I tell you the word excellence, Besides annoying, what jumps into your mind when you hear the words excellence? <laughs> excellence. All right. Now, I was hoping that's what you do. You fell right into my trap. We all have a different version of what that word excellence means. So let's watch a quick clip here on the TV and see if we can all get on the same page. Oh, yeah. He's okay. Just okay? Guess who just got reinstated? Well, not official. Nervous? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, see, just oh. okay? It's not okay. Especially... <laughs> All right. So you've probably seen that commercial before. But they were asking the nurse, does she know much about that doctor? And she said, yeah, he's okay. That's just what you want to hear before you're going into surgery, right? Yeah. Would that work out for you? No. <laughs> Would you just go up to the anesthesiologist thing? And, oh man, anesthesiologist saying, don't put me under, I am not doing this today. That is not what you want to hear is, yeah, he's okay. Not at all. So let's talk about excellence. That's kind of the bottom bar of not excellence. So now we're, we're going to go from there. Here's a trap of the enemy that he uses against us though, all the time. Is that we, we like to use the word excellence, but we tend to hold other people to a different level of excellence than we what? Than we hold ourselves to. We're very, very guilty of that in our culture. <coughs> to want to hold someone else to a, even a higher level of excellence than we hold ourselves. So today I just want to spend a few minutes discussing excellence and why we talk about it all the time and why... It's so important. So as Christians, are we called to excellence? Yes or no? Easy answer, yes. So why the answer, yes? Great, you first one to said it, so boom. Why are we called to excellence? So you can be an example to others. That's a great answer. Anybody else? First Corinthians 10 31. Let's just go there for a moment. It tells us this. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do. Alright, let's go back and say it again. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do. That kind of covers a pretty strong gamut of everything in our lives. Do it all for the glory of God. 
When we seek to fulfill the purpose for which God created us, to glorify Him, to honor Him, and to bring Him pleasure, then we will find happiness. We're seeking Jesus Christ. He is the root of that excellence. So that last one, right now, means right now. It doesn't mean when I get my act together. It doesn't mean when I get past this test. It doesn't mean when our school gets the next gym, we're really going to be excellent. It doesn't mean when we're actually able to build a nice field house where everybody, man, in our athletic program is going to arrive. It doesn't mean even when our school doesn't have all working water fountains, which we should have, that we can't be excellent. It means right now. Are you going to be excellent or are you not? Guess who gets, up, gets to make that choice every single day when you wake up? It just falls on you. It's really up to you. 